Hey, what's up? Today I finally got the 13-inch MiBook Air with fingerprint scanner. Let's look at how well this laptop performs compared with the 13-inch MacBook Air and let's see uh, what's up with it. Let's go! In the box you'll find the MiBook Air and its USB-C power cable and wall brick and that's about it. Let's look at the specs first. It's a 13.3 inch laptop and only 14.8 millimeters in height. It is pretty much as thick as the 2017 MacBook Air model, although that one's got a slight slope, making it thinner on the edge. The MiBook doesn't have that slope, but it's still fairly thin and being just the 1.3 kilograms, it's actually the same weight as the MacBook Air. I've gotten the i5 model in light grey with Intel graphics card, but there's also a i5 and i7 model with 2GB NVIDIA graphics cards. And those both come with a light or dark grey finish. The i7 model even clocks in at 4GHz, so that is quite significant for such an entry level notebook. The MeatBook Airs all come with 265GB of SSD storage, 8GB of DDR4 RAM and a few ports. It's got a USB-C port that's used for charging as well as data transfer, two USB 3 ports, HDMI out and a 3.5mm headphone jack for all of you that still need that headphone jack. They've got AKG speakers and a Realtek audio interface and on the front you'll find a 1 megapixel webcam for photos or video calls. So the first thing I notice is that it feels well in hand. Um, the MacBook feels a little bit slimmer as you tend to grab that on the thinnest side but it's really not that big of a difference. The bezels on the screen are really much nicer on the MiBook though. If you see them side by side you can really tell the difference. Comparing the MiBook Air with the MacBook Air in terms of performance, even the i5 model that I've got here performs much better than the MacBooks. It boots up a lot quicker and both the MiBook and the MacBook Air were both fresh out of the box here in my tests and the MiBook boots up in about half the time the MacBook needs. I did some benchmark tests on them and again the MiBook scored a lot higher in these tests. The only thing that came out higher on the MacBook was the GPU, as the Intel graphics in the MiBook are not that spectacular, but that should be better in the Nvidia models. The MiBook comes with Windows 10 Home Edition, and even though they have an international version of their other MiBook Airs, most of them come with Windows 10 fully in Chinese. The first time using the MiBook, you'll have to get through the installation process in Mandarin, but it's not that difficult, just click yes, yes, yes. After that, there's uh, two ways to get this thing in English, as the home edition that ships with it does not allow you to change the system language at all. So you could choose to fully reinstall Windows and using the media creation tool, you can transfer the license of this home edition and install an international version without losing your license. However, option two, is to get a license of Windows 10 Pro. Simply just upgrade the license in your Windows settings and this will also allow you to upgrade the language pack. So I bought a very cheap Windows 10 Pro license online and I managed to easily download the language pack after that. So after rebooting, all the Mandarin text all magically turned to English. So that was the easiest and quickest way without having to completely reinstall Windows. The MiBook Air comes with a suite of Microsoft Office tools. I do think you will have to activate these before you actually upgrade your Windows as I didn't do that and after upgrading it mentions that I did not have a license so possibly when you add those licenses to your account before the upgrade you could still use it but it says that these are really licenses for the home edition so you gotta double check that. The MiBook has a built-in fingerprint scanner which is really quick to unlock and I know some people don't trust fingerprint scanners so you could also opt out and just stick to using a password only. I must say that the fingerprint scanner is really fast and you can use it with Windows Hello to use that for other apps as well. So how does it perform with regular tasks? Well, I've installed a number of things on it. I've played Fortnite for the first time in my life on this notebook and it was really laggy and it had a lot of frame drops. Possibly the i7 model with the Nvidia graphics can handle that a little bit better, but I gotta say these laptops are simply not built for gaming. I did install GTA 5 as well just to check that out and although this laptop should not be able to run this smoothly at all, to my surprise it did run a lot better than I ever expected it would so that was kind of fun to see. 
For general purpose, using word processing, Excel, PowerPoint, emailing, browsing the web, and just doing some Facebook and YouTube, it really works smooth as butter. I've tried some Photoshop, although it did run, and it did manage to get through some 70 megabytes raw photos really quick. Also, I noticed the internal modem is not the fastest, but the specs mention that it should be capable of getting up to 800 Mbps. On average, I got about six and a half hours of battery life, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. If you just browse, it might be seven and a half hours, but it was on average. So it's not the eight hours as they advertised, but it wasn't that bad either. And charging over USB-C is really fast as well. I couldn't charge it over most power banks, but it seems that the Zimi 20,000 mAh power bank could actually charge them. I used the 10,000 mAh power bank from Xiaomi themselves, but those could unfortunately not charge it. So what do I think? Well, to conclude the Mi Book Air, I think it's a pretty impressive machine for its price. It performs much better than the MacBook Air, except for the graphics, but I was not that impressed with the one megapixel camera, as it did look a little bit flat and quite grainy, especially comparing that with the camera from Apple. It's a bit lifeless, but considering you probably just use that for some video calls and you could optionally hook up a much better webcam, it's not that big of a deal. The computer boots up really fast, it's much faster than the MacBook, and for most daily tasks, it performs really well. Just the things that require some more heavy processing from the graphics card don't run that well, but honestly, that was to be expected. Overall, I must say that I was very impressed and it was much more capable, much faster, and it could handle things I threw at it much better than I ever expected it would. In China, the Mi Notebook Air goes for about 800 US dollars for the entry-level i5 model, and you can find it on sites like Gearbest for a little over 1000 US dollars, which I think it's worth considering its performance. So that's it for the Mi Book Air. What do you think? Is this uh, the type of notebook you would be considering? If not, what would you consider? And if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up because these take a lot of time to make. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, know that you probably should because I'm doing a lot of videos about the products from the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.